Hi folks, we have introduced manual frequency selection on LTE or 4G. Uh, this works with uh, Huawei E398 and E392 USB modems. And it will work on all E392 modems, but it won't work on all 398 modems. And the reason is simple. Uh, the modem must contain two antenna ports, as you can see there. So two antenna ports uh, for multiple in, multiple out, MIMO, as they call it. Um, it's not a restriction that's been put on, you know, by us. It's it's more of a, the fact that these modems do not contain the option within their firmware unless they have these two antenna ports. Uh, so this is the case. So we've tested it with these modems and it works very well. We have uh, MIMO on all of these and we have MIMO on that one. So let me show you how this works and I should also say that this firmware release 6.1 works on the Tiny, on the Dolma and on the 4GR there. So we log into the router, which is connected by 4G, as you can see there, uh, 4G, and log in. We go to modem, and we go to modem settings, and then right here, click on 4G, 4G only, and you get this little drop down here where you can actually select which frequency band you wish to use. Now just to explain to make this thoroughly clear the drop down selection is not representing which frequencies are in the air at the moment it only represents which frequency bands the modem chipset supports. So uh, for instance I'm using a Telia SIM card here in Sweden and I know that there are only two bands which are currently used by them. So it's the 2600 uh, band called B7 and it's the 800 megahertz band which is B20. So I can either select this one or that one and I know that they don't have 800 here at the moment so I'll put 2600. So and then I save the setting right there at the bottom. And That means that I have now locked the router to 4G only on 2600 megahertz band. That means I can use an external antenna mounted on my rooftop or somewhere on the windowsill, plug it into the, the, the antenna connector there and there, and uh, access only the 2600 megahertz uh, network. And why I'd want to do this is because, for instance, I would know uh, after talking to my operator that they have a base station in the area which is specifically that. It's also good for instance for people who are living on the edge between two fre frequency bands and the modem gets kind of confused as to which one to connect to and stick to. So sometimes you get a lot of um, sway back and forth between two base stations and you get different speeds. But if you're going to use directional antennas where you know okay that cell tower is giving me uh, that frequency and that's what you want to use. Uh, this feature is not even available in software dialers in computers so it's a very nice thing to have uh, thanks to the router and uh, we hope you're happy with this. Thank you.